loved this piece. Great ode to the talkie genre. The the music, the title screen, the kind of steampunk esque vibe to it, the the theatricality in the framing, I thought was really effective because I knew where we were, but then they used that and exploded the genre to their their own creative collaging. And I loved that collaging effect. The the film magic was very present in these dazzling effects, the layering, the bordering, to frame the seat frame the scene and direct the eye how it they want us to see it from the stage to an eyeball. There was a great creativity in that framing. And I was always so excited to be directed to what's going to be next. A really cool and unique way of bringing us through the story that reminded me of really old short films with the intertitles, which I thought was really cool. Um, And I really liked the visual effects and thought it was really fun to watch. I also think the music was a great and very classic choice. Um, It was very uplifting. The music was very uplifting and um, I think it helps set the vibe through the whole film. I loved the the silent film feel to it and aspects that it brought. And I love what it represented of, I think a lot of the time it is very, very common uh, as human beings to try to kind of cling to logic and cling to rational thinking and cling to needing to solve something, needing to have something make sense. And I think that there's a really magical time in that kind of in-between state, between awake and asleep, where you're not quite fully asleep, but you're maybe not operating the same way you would if you were fully awake. And there's a beauty in that because you can have these kind of moments where you don't that the need for logic kind of falls away the need for rational thinking kind of falls away and whether that's because your mind is just opening up a little bit as you you know are letting go of reality and you know getting closer and closer to sleep or it's because you're just simply a little bit too tired to you know really go the extra mile to think rationally or to think logically I don't know which one it is but I think there is a a a beauty in that because I think that you can have these kind of breakthrough moments where something that wasn't making sense to you can kind of click and maybe it doesn't need to make sense all the time but you can kind of make peace with that in these kind of in between you know that that kind of in between sleepy state and I thought that 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 was a really really beautiful thing to highlight. So it almost felt like um a narrative poem and visualization of what this person goes through in their process uh, of creating as an architect, the plans or, or whatever their, their vision is um, and how the inspiration comes and the visuals were really nice. I liked the artwork and I liked how they said, and I liked how the narration was up on the screen carrying us through with the visuals. And I like how they said logic isn't everything. It was like the last kind of like thing they came to, the, the conclusion they came to was this isn't a logical thing. Um, inspiration, creation, how you come up with things. It's really not easy to define. So really well done. It was fun to watch. And it was, um, you know, a lot was packed into the small amount of time 